Hi, I'm Miss Lovelady. And I'm Miss Dantzler. And we teach third grade ELA at Sally Humble Elementary. Today we're going to read a story called Miss Nelson is Missing, one of our favorite books. If you notice that we're dressed up like the characters. Um, and then we're going to talk about, um, compare and contrast some of the things. So as we're reading, I want you to look at some things that you see are, that are the same and some things that you see that are different, maybe in the characters or the setting or attitude, anything like that. So the book we're going to read is called Miss Nelson is Missing by Harry Allard and James Marshall. The kids in room 207 were misbehaving again. Spitballs stuck to the ceiling, paper planes whizzed through the air. They were the worst behaved class in the whole school. Now settle down, said Miss Nelson in a sweet voice, but the class would not settle down. They whispered and giggled, they squirmed and made faces. They were even rude during story hour, and they always refused to do their lessons. Something must be done, said Miss Nelson. The next morning, Miss Nelson did not come to school. Wow, yelled the kids. Now we can really act up. They began to make more spitballs and paper planes. Today, let's just be terrible, they said. Not so fast, hissed an unpleasant voice. A woman in an ugly black dress stood before them. I am your new teacher, Miss Viola Swamp and she rapped the desk with her ruler. Where's Miss Nelson? asked the kids. Never mind that, snapped Miss Swamp. Open those arithmetic books. Miss Nelson's kids did as they were told. They could see that Miss Swamp was a real witch. She meant business. Right away, she put them to work and she loaded them down with homework. We'll have no story hour today, said Miss Swamp. Keep your mouths shut, said Miss Swamp. Sit perfectly still, said Miss Swamp. And if you misbehave, you'll be sorry, said Miss Swamp. The kids in room 207 had never worked so hard. Days went by and there was no sign of Miss Nelson. The kids missed Miss Nelson. Maybe we should try to find her, they said. Some of them went to the police. Detective McSmog was assigned to the case. He listened to their story. He scratched his chin. Hmm, he said. Hmm, I think Miss Nelson is missing. Detective McSmog would not be much help. Other kids went to Miss Nelson's house. The shades were tightly drawn and no one answered the door. In fact, the only person they did see was the wicked Miss Viola Swamp coming up the street. If she sees us, she'll give us more homework. They got away just in time. Maybe something terrible happened to Miss Nelson. Maybe she was gobbled up by a shark, said one of the kids, but that didn't seem likely. Maybe Miss Nelson went to Mars, said another kid, but that didn't seem likely either. I know, exclaimed one know-it-all. Maybe Miss Nelson's car was carried off by a swarm of angry butterflies. But that was the least likely of all. The kids in room 207 became very discouraged. It seemed that Miss Nelson was never coming back. And they would be stuck with Miss Viola Swamp forever. They heard footsteps in the hall. Here comes the witch. Hello, children, someone said in a sweet voice. It was Miss Nelson. Did you miss me, she asked. We certainly did, cried all the kids. Where were you? That's my little secret, said Miss Nelson. How about story hour? Oh, yes, cried the kids. Miss Nelson noticed that during story hour, no one was rude or silly. What brought about this lovely change, she asked. That's our little secret, said the kids. Back home, Miss Nelson took off her coat and hung it in the closet right next to an ugly black dress. When it was time for bed, she sang a little song. 
I'll never tell, she said to herself with a smile. P.S. Detective McSmog is working on a new case. He is now looking for Miss Viola Swamp. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story. Um, I hope you're a little bit better detective than Detective McSmog. Okay, so what we're going to do now is talk about compare and contrast. So when you compare and contrast, you look at how things are the same and how they're different. So what I want you to do with your hands, we do this in our classroom. So if you're one of our students, you know what we're talking about. So when you do compare, do your hands like this. This is compare. And then when we contrast, we look at how things are different and we do our hands like this. Okay, so when we compare, keep your hands like this, you use words like same, similar, alike, and both, okay? Then when you contrast, you look at how things are different. Oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> how they're different, and you might use words like but, on the other hand, or while. So when you have different, you show a change of direction, okay? So we're going to use some of these words. And we're going to compare and contrast Miss Nelson and Miss Swamp, okay? Okay, now we're going to draw our H chart. So your H chart is very similar to a Venn diagram. You're going to put how things are the same and how they're different. So you can do this at home with a piece of paper. So I'm going to draw mine and I'm going to do the best I can. So it's called an H chart because it literally just looks like an H. And I know my students are very familiar with this. So over here, we're going to talk about Miss Nelson. And then over here, we're going to talk about Miss Swamp. So things that we put just for Miss Nelson are going to go over here. And things that we put just for Miss Swamp are going to go right here. And in the middle, and I didn't leave a bunch of room so we can write underneath there, we're going to put things that Miss Nelson and Miss Swamp have in common, okay? So, um, let's see, we'll give you there. So the first thing I see, let's see, why don't we start, let's start in the middle. What do you think these two people have in common? Well, they both have the same job. They're both teachers. So we're gonna put that right there. And you can just put a bullet point because we're gonna be doing several different um, items in each section. So both Miss Nelson and both Miss Swamp are teachers. <coughs> Okay, what else do you think Miss Nelson and Miss Swamp have in common? They're both teachers. I think they both have a little secret. So if you really looked into the book, they both have secrets. Awesome. All right, so we've got some things in common right there in the middle for that. All right, now let's talk about between Miss Nelson and Miss Swamp, hmm, what can we say that they have different? Well, just based on physical appearance, Miss Nelson has blonde hair and Miss Swamp has black hair. So we can put that. We can talk about physical appearance when we contrast two people. All right, and we know based on, you know, seeing Miss Nelson teach and seeing Miss Swamp teach, that Miss Swamp is very strict, okay? Her teaching is very, I'm going to another point, she's very strict, and I would say that Miss Nelson is a little more easygoing. Her teaching is very easygoing, but Miss Nelson was very strict. She gave a lot of assignments, and she wanted them done now, and if you got in trouble, she was going to give you even more, okay? Um... Let's see, do you have anything that you wanted to? Um, Miss Nelson is very loving, while Miss Swamp is more um, hard. Yeah, I would even say mean. Miss Swamp is mean. Good, good. Go ahead and put that. So, Miss Nelson is more loving or sweet or kind. Any of those words kind of mean the same thing. And then we're just going to say Miss Swamp is mean because you know what? She is. And that's a negative character trait, and that's okay. All right, um, I'm gonna say that Miss Nelson is clever. And if you really read into the book, Miss Nelson is clever because of what she did. So her kids were not behaving her, so she decided to leave and make them miss her. So when she came back, they really, really, really missed her. So Miss Nelson is 
definitely a clever teacher. Let's see. I'm going to say that Miss Swamp, adding to mean, she's very unpleasant. Okay? She's very unpleasant. None of the kids like being around her. They ran away from her when they saw her coming around the corner on the street. So she's unpleasant. She's mean. She's strict. She has black hair. The students even said that she looked like what? A witch. Very good. Said that she looked like a witch. Good. All right. What else can we add to Miss Nelson? So blonde hair, easygoing, loving, clever. Hmm. I would say that she's sweet. It says in the book that she spoke with a sweet voice. Very good. And on the other hand, it goes back to witch. Miss Swamp spoke. It says that she hissed. So that's also, you know, leads us back to witch and mean and unpleasant. All right, so I think we've got some good stuff on here. So remember, when you compare, you look at how things are the same. So both Miss Nelson and Miss Swamp were teachers, and they both had secrets to keep. And then when you contrast, you look at how things are different. So Miss Nelson had blonde hair, while Miss Swamp had black hair. Miss Nelson is easygoing, but Miss Swamp is strict. Miss Nelson is loving. On the other hand, Miss Nelson is mean and unpleasant. Miss Nelson is clever or sweet, while Miss Swamp looks like a witch and acts like a witch. All right, so we hope you've enjoyed. This is absolutely one of my favorite books growing up, so I hope you've enjoyed it. And remember that you can always compare and contrast any characters you see in a book. Just get out a piece of paper, draw a Venn diagram or an H chart. All right, so we hope you have a great day. Bye. Bye.